Hi, everyone. Um, for those that I don't know, I'm Kevin. I'm a startup operator, uh, currently currently unmatched. And my project idea was to work with Joel, actually, um, as he was compiling this data to maybe dig in a little bit deeper. The goal for me was to really focus on, um, you know, client user experience where I could. What, what's working? Why, why aren't clients that have data cap using it? Um, but really quickly, I wanted to just highlight something that I spent almost a day or two just thinking through was how to even uh, get data cap. There's a lot of different links and ways to go about it. And, and just to, to identify uh, maybe a little bit more so everybody's on the same page, but you can essentially, you know, go to the docs file. You can either receive 32 gigabytes right away. It's sort of an auto verify method where um, you can go in and test and experiment a little bit. Um, option two is, is for the groups that need a little bit bigger space. They can go directly to a notary and apply via via some of those links creates a github issue and then that the notary goes in and approves you know the the request that way and then option three it was was created last year because there was these large tests where you have to apply for a large scale data cap and so that's a separate github link uh, multiple notaries are involved and have to improve that so it takes a little bit more due diligence and and follow through. Um, yeah, so that's that's sort of at a high level, kind of the three ways you can go go into that. And, and I'll explain in the, on the next slide how that makes sense to what I what I looked at. Just pulling down the data from the, the Phil Plus site there. I'll talk you quickly through this this chart. So I wanted to look at, you know, um, of the different allocation amounts that there could be any really. So I, I picked some some key areas, but uh, who was using it and who wasn't using any of their data. So, for example, the first category is that 32 gigabytes. So if you went in and just said, hey, I want to I want to get some some data cap and play around. Well, that, that's about half of the client IDs in the database and 62 percent of those haven't used any of it. So people have signed up for it. They've received this and they, and they, and they haven't used it, which kind of makes sense. Maybe, you know, they, they just decided not to. Um, but then you can see when we get to one or ten, Usage starts to go up, so there's people using 80% or more, and in that 10 um, category, that 91% are using 80% or more. So that, that I don't know if that's a sweet spot. I, I don't. I really couldn't tell you at this point. But um, then when I started looking at 50 and, and 100 and 1,000, the, the the clients who aren't using that data cap uh, is is going up. And, and actually, Joelle had sent some surveys to some of these clients asking why we had we hadn't necessarily heard back from them. But my, my focus was on um, the, the the larger ones, the, the ones in the, in the last category there. They were receiving a lot of data cap and they were using the majority of it. So I wanted to and, and they were easier to find because they, their their project names were listed on the, the large data applications. So I could reach out to some of them more directly than than some of these others. But just as I was talking to some people and, and thinking through some of these things, um, there's some theories about you know the, the low usage and Joel and I we, we can talk through this, but clients maybe received the, the data cap too late and didn't use it, or they didn't realize they were approved, or they weren't ready to use it yet. They still have it, they just haven't used it yet, or uh, they were hoping to do some self dealing and they realized they can't. They, they realized they couldn't use one SP. So there, there, there's probably a variety of reasons. But then I, I asked the question of the, the people that are using it: Did you do anything particular? Are there any processes that aided in your success? Um, did anyone invest time in, in helping you? I, I sent Slack messages out to 15 of the top 25, the, 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 that bottom category, and four have replied to me so far. I just sent it out a day or two ago. Uh, it, it's been low responses. Joelle also sent out some surveys that we haven't heard back, which I guess is to be expected. But as you can see, so clients on becoming successful, uh, a few of them have told me, and take this with a grain of salt because uh, you know th th they're they're expecting large amounts of data so that they can they can use it right so th their perspective is give it give it to me fast give it to me now but th they have some things in place that they use in terms of uh, automating the deal making engaging with the community they know where to go to get the allocations they know if if they need to ping a certain person or if they, they continue to follow up if needed um they use their own toolkits so th these are things i think we already knew but it's 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 nice to uh, you know reemphasize that and then there, there were several complaints about the the approval process, so um, that's something to take a look at. And I, and I know that's been being worked on and iterated as it's going further and further along. But coming out of this, again, this was just something I've been working on for a little over a week and a half. Um, I, I think there's definitely opportunities to to find ways to get more client feedback, and and more often we have to 
to, to figure that out. There's, there's there's ways to continue to iterate on the on the approval process, and that's something that again is being worked on, but it can always be better. And then finally, uh, you know, that, that first slide I showed you some of the different links you can go to to apply and figure out how to use it. That that can probably be cleaned up a little bit and, and organized a little bit better. So um, that's where I'm at for now. Hoping to get some more responses and and continue to move this forward. Thanks, everyone.